Morning, everyone. This is Dr. J with uh, Furlough Frugal and Fun on the shutdown day 11. And uh, let's keep in mind the longest was 21 days. So we have to, you know, prepare as if we just don't know what's going to happen. And of course, this week is when they're going to um, also consider raising the debt ceiling. And I will determine if the entire government will shut back down um, this week. So, yeah, just because I returned to work don't mean that I stopped you know, doing what I needed to do because I know for me and for some of us, it was pretty much a wake-up call. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, some of us grew up, grew up with our parents saying, you know, that the government is the most stable uh, place that you could possibly work. And, you know, we're seeing that, you know, it succumbs to the economy just like anything else. So I went to the market, uh, supermarket, this past weekend and got another wake-up call because it's almost like, you know, since it's been shut down, prices have went up. And I mean, it definitely affects everyone. So uh, I had to be smart. Um, I remember doing a Facebook uh, update probably sometime last year, and we were talking about things that we couldn't do without. Uh, it was uh, during the threat of the continuing resolution last year, the year before. But um, a lot of people were saying, you know, they can give up or change some things except toilet paper and paper towels. And you know what? Sometimes I, I just don't blame you for that. <laughs> um, I know for us, you know, I, I, uh, I love the toilet paper we use and the paper towels clean it up really good and it, it helps. You don't have to use as much. So, of course, you know, think about those things that stretch. And um, if it means getting good paper towels and good sets of toilet paper, then, you know, do you. Do what's right for you. Um, one thing I do want to suggest, and a lot of, and it's interesting because I think that a lot of mothers know about it because of Amazon Mom, but just Amazon Prime accounts. Um, if you don't have one, it's really good to have um, when you start getting paid again, or if you have seventy five dollars to kick out, pay the seventy five dollars. You might say seventy five dollars that's a lot, but it's for the year on Amazon. Uh, your stuff gets shipped in two days or less. Um, of things that you need, including household stuff. Um, so for $75 a year, you get absolutely free shipping. And I can tell you that what me and my husband get ships to the house, it definitely surpasses $75 uh, for the year. So to have that free is, is a really great thing. Um, you can also get Amazon student accounts, um, Amazon Prime, Amazon Mom, and uh, those type of subscriptions, if you subscribe to certain things, you can actually get them in bulk, much like when you go to Costco or BJ's. But in my opinion, it's even cheaper than that. Um, you don't have to leave your house, so you're not burning any gas. Um, and it comes right to your door within two days. And I mean, that's anything you could possibly think of. If you just go on Amazon, uh, put something that you want, click on Prime Eligible, it will pull it up. Um, I get the little uh, bulk, um, what's it called, applesauce the little squeezy packs for my kids, um, juice boxes, uh, toilet paper, paper towels, things of that sort, uh, trash bags. I mean, anything you can think of um, you could possibly use it can be bought through Amazon in bulk. Also, casserole, casserole, casserole. Can't get enough of making casseroles. Uh, they stretch for the week. Um, I'm, I love big ziti. Uh, I will make it. And when I make one huge pan, like the, what is it, 9 by 13 by whatever the size pan is, it could last me and my family for at least three to four days. Um, and it keeps very well, too. Um, I would suggest that you use chicken or turkey um, in it, you know, for your meats and your sausages because those do not uh, spoil as fast as beef and as your um, pork sausage. So that's an option. Um, breakfast casseroles. Breakfast can be eaten all day. I know mo many of you already know this, but it's good to be reminded that, you know, you can really make things stretch if you're smart. Um, and generics, going back to generics. I mean, I remember my dad loved Cheerios. I mean, he still loves Cheerios. But when we <laughs> had to make that change, Tasty O's was on our table. And I remember the box clearly, and it is still in your grocery store today. Uh, tuna fish, can't get enough cans of tuna fish. They can be a nice snack for you and your kids. You know, add a little, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Miracle Whip. And relish to make it just a little sweeter on some crackers. Put that joint on in the afternoon on some bread. You know, wheat bread. Make some sandwiches. And again, another casserole. You can make a tuna salad casserole. Or um, a tuna salad, you know, in general with the pasta. So, I ain't going to tell you how to cook. Because I'm not the best cook. But, 
I just know how to make things stretch. So again, look into Amazon Prime. Um, if you can sacrifice the 75 for the year, okay, it's for the year, um, then you'll get, I trust you will get a huge return on investment on how much you can get shipped to your house at a lower cost. Um, and again, you know, look into casseroles and generic products and that could get you through um, for a good, you know, week's time or even more uh, if you plan appropriately. So again, this is Dr. J with your furlough, frugal and fun on this 11th workday of the shutdown. And remember, don't stress in it, find the best in it. Have a great day.